everyone's ready. Ouch. Just like that, this tag team match is underway. When you have competitors on the level of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. A simply devastating elbow drop. Bailey's on the attack. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. I've made it quite clear how offensive I find Bailey's hugs, but I will admit the Bailey to Belly suplex will take you right out of your boots. <laughs> Natalia looking a little bit surprised here, but I'd be surprised if she doesn't find a way back in control of this thing. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. It's perfect that Bailey's big move, the belly to belly, shows just how precise and powerful Bailey can be. When the hugger plants the opposition with her twist on the classic suplex, it's all over. I remember when Bailey gave Nia Jax a super Bailey to belly off the middle rope in NXT. And when Bailey was on Team Raw, the 2016 Survivor Series, the Bailey to belly on Becky Lynch, she goes for the cover. Gets the shoulder up. Still a lot more fight left. Guys, endurance is a trait needed in every match, but you need an incredible amount to last as long as Finn Balor did during his first Royal Rumble. To come in as the second entrant and wage war on 29 other superstars is awe-inspiring. Byron's still in awe of Finn Balor's Royal Rumble performance, and I agree. Finn lasted for over 57 minutes, a figure that puts him high in the record book, something a kid from across the Irish Sea can show any doubters. And that display of endurance is a great example of why Balor is an extraordinary man who can do extraordinary things. His track record proves that doubting him on accomplishing the extraordinary would just be foolish. She's not looking good here, guys. Man, she's got to get herself together here. Tag team history was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. Oh man, she's rolling now. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be in the finals. Slater at... Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Nice move. Bobby Roode set his spine buster. We got a cover. Digging deep for a kick out. We're going to take more than that. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Nice job getting out of the way of that one. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Here comes Bailey. Corey, you touched on this before, part of it. Oh my gosh! She's in firm control of this one. That is a huge opening for Bailey. Look at Bailey making her move. The human body can only absorb so much of that. She's got a chance to win it here. Things just went from there's a pin now. 
punishing axe handle. Great offense by Bailey. You gotta believe this one's over. Stunner! Emphatically delivered. Some people might not agree, but I think sometimes Bailey can be a bit too much. Corey, it's truly amazing to me how Bobby Roode has the WWE Universe eating out of his hands. With a simple motion, he can get every single person in the crowd to scream, Glorious! It's just amazing. Glorious! Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not you, Byron, sit down and shut up. Setting up for it. Bailey's on the attack. Oh, if I could bring up Glorious and Hallelujah again real quick. I spoke to Bobby Roode the other day, and he said, I'm the only guy here allowed to say his catchphrases. Sorry, gentlemen. Wait, wait are you serious? Yes. Uh, no, you can't be serious. I'm dead serious. No, 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 I don't believe it. Looks like she's gonna make it. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Natalia beginning to stumble a bit. At this point, she really needs to think about making a tag to her partner. One of these women has to pull away here eventually. At this point, it looks like it might just be her opponent. And it's Natalia with the reversal. The Irishman has his Irish up. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. This one's going to leave a mark, guys. Look at Finn Balor here. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques, like cutting the ring in half. Isolating your opponent. Look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Here it comes. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, Finn Balor, big move coming. 19-16. That should do it. Corey, Finn Balor's shoulder injury has been well-documented, suffering a torn labrum that put Finn out of action for seven months. Yeah, it did, and now it's a huge target for any of Finn's competition. Any game plan devised to go up against Balor should be centered around tripling his surgically repaired right shoulder. This might be it! Oh, my! Recognizing the game plan Corey devised, it's easier said than done to even catch Finn for long enough to apply that pressure to the shoulder. I would agree with the both of you. Any superstar that has an injury in their past will always have a bullseye on it. But they know that, and it becomes their job to defend against those attacks. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. I don't that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. That's all she wrote, fellas. She got the shoulder up in time. I have to put in a little more work than that. She is on fire. With an endearing personality and affectionate demeanor, Bailey can appear to be a pushover. But that might be exactly what she wants you to think. Well, both sides of that coin are true. I would be very accepting of a Bailey hug outside of competition but I would do all I can to avoid one in a match. Bobby Roode setting it up. Hallelujah. It's got to be hard to rebound from that one. And she looked penny in predicament. Picking up Byron's wishful thinking of actually getting a hug from Bailey. It's true that in the confines of a match, Bailey's loving hug soon turns into a devastating Bailey to Bailey. 
I'm usually against Natalia's done playing. Oh, strikes with Natty by nature. This is it. This is her chance. Finn Balor really needs. And there's that corner exploder suplex. I bet you feel foolish riding her off. Here's the cover. Did it! They won the match! Now's a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here are your winners, Bailey and Finn Balor. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. Now you just got to take the win and build off it. You got that right, partner. Again, huge win here tonight.